The young warrior had dreamt of fire. He knew it to be a bad omen, so he went to the old wise man for advice. The old wise man listened to the young warrior describing his dream, then presented him with leather armor to protect him from the fire. The young warrior thanked the old man and went on his way. Just as in his dream, the warrior met a great deal of fire that day. But with his armor, he easily survived it all, slew the beast, and returned to the village with the feast. That winter, the warrior forgot to take his armor off. It was warm with it on, after all. And while his wife found the armor to distance them, she said nothing, because the armor had allowed her husband to survive the fire. The next spring, as the young warrior set off in his travels, he met the old wise man again. The old man insisted on helping the warrior, telling him he could improve the armor. The young warrior said that the armor he had was fine, but as the old man insisted, the warrior took the new armor, which was supposedly better in every way. The warrior easily slew the beast again that year and brought it home. His wife, aghast at the new armor, which was colder and uglier than the old armor, insisted he take it off, proclaiming that she could not bear another year living this way. But the warrior could not take it off. He tried and he tried, but he found the armor had become stuck to him, so it had to stay on. The years passed and the young warrior and his wife became old, with new young warrior children of their own. And these young warriors, having been sold on armor at a very young age, had never fought without it, had never known life without it, and so did not find it cold or strange. They simply accepted that this was the way things were. This warrior tribe became weak. And one year, hearing stories of brave warriors who once fought the elements bare naked, one of the warriors decided to strip off his armor and face the world. He went into the cave, and the cold and damp air made him shake. He crept up to the monster, and it hurt him, turned and clawed at him. He ran, he ran, and he managed to get away, but his entire backside had been scorched by the fire. When he returned to the village, he had a few scrawny fish, while his brothers had returned with another feast. Yet despite not being successful, the naked warrior insisted he live without armor and learn to be stronger. So year after year he tried, he fought, and he learned the old ways again, the ways of hunting, tracking, and creeping that had been forgotten. He had to wonder, why didn't the old wise man teach us this instead of giving us this armor? So the naked warrior went to visit the old wise man, who by now was very old indeed. And the naked warrior realized, upon meeting the old man, that he was not wise, but just merely clever and a good salesman. The naked warrior went back to the village, taught his family and tribe the secrets of hunting. And though they were skeptical at first, they listened to him. They took off their armor, and they were amazed at the freedom that they found. And from that day on, the tribe was very suspicious of old wise men.